Moving on here to the topic of today's video, the RSI. Now, everything I tell you in this video, I'm working from the tradingview.com website, but everything that I'm telling you can be used within the exchange itself. So if you're on Femex or you're on Binance, they have TradingView integration. So everything that I'm showing you here, you can easily translate right over to the internal exchange. Um, it's only one indicator. I'm gonna show you how to load it up and what to look for on the five minute chart if you wanna make some quick in and out scalping gains. I'm gonna link the previous video that I did on the MACD indicator in the top right. If you'd like to check that out, both the MACD and the RSI work together very well. Tremendous success over the years, just working with a couple indicators uh, a lot of times when you're new to trading, you get, you know, there's so many different, everyone's trying to sell you something. Everybody's trying to show you what the best move is, what the best indicator is. Uh, stick to the basics. The basics, in my opinion, at least are the MACD and the RSI. So all you got to do up here is click the little FX indicator button. You're going to go down to public library, and then you're going to type in RSI. And the top listing, the relative strength index is what you're going to want to click. And as you can see, it's going to load in down at the bottom. Now, um, I would always suggest using no more than 5x leverage, especially if you're new, or no leverage at all until you really get your, your trading system down. Um, leverage is great. You can amplify your profits. I've got other videos on my channel that explains how that works, but it could also hinder your, your gains. It could really throw you in a, in a tailspin if you know, you've just started out trading and you've already lost several trades in a row it's likely because you're using too high a leverage, okay? So keep that in mind, 5X is really a sweet spot when you begin, and then over time, I would say 10X is probably as high as you're gonna wanna go. So we're gonna go ahead and head back over to the five minute time frame, and I'm gonna show you how to break down the RSI indicator here down below. Now, as you can see, the RSI has got this purple shaded area, anywhere between 30 and 70 on the RSI. Um, but we're gonna be making mention of all the way from zero to 100. So that leaves us some room above and below the purple shaded area. And basically what that's telling us is that the area is either oversold or overbought. Now, typically price likes to go from overbought to oversold, from oversold to overbought. If you look back, this is typically what happens. So. Trading, as I mentioned in all my videos, it's not, there's no certainties in trading. You're just trying to take the lowest risk, highest probability of a win trade that you can. And if you do that over and over and over again, as long as you're winning more than you're losing, then you're gonna come out ahead. But what I'm trying to show you here is even on the five minute, when price goes from, this was close enough in my opinion, when price gets down into this 30 or lower area and you're looking to become a, an oversold territory, price is for, the first thing price is gonna do is it's gonna go back to overbought. And then once it becomes overbought, the next thing it's gonna do is gonna go back to oversold. So if you just kind of keep this simple idea in your mind, you've got oversold, you've got overbought, you've got oversold, you've got overbought, you've got oversold. So honestly, we're gonna keep this video short, but if you go back and watch it, I would assume that what's gonna happen here with this, and it might not happen in five minutes, but you're gonna see that this eventually is gonna chop around here and it's gonna go back up to overbought, okay? So what you're really keeping your mind open to when you trade the RSI, and I'm, I'm speaking strictly on the RSI with no other indicators, is that when the price becomes oversold, you're waiting, the buy signal for this is when we come back above, okay? So the moment the RSI, shades back into the purple area. So whenever this happens, it might not happen right now, price might keep going down, but when it reverses and we break back into the purple, that is your buy signal. Very simple, okay? The five minute, you can do this on the 15 minute. I would say the five minute, it comes up more often than not. In the event that you have a situation where we are overbought, it's the exact opposite. So if we're overbought, just like I'll draw it the same way again, we're overbought here, the next, the sell signal would be the moment we, we trail back into the purple. And if you look up here to the top, it really correlates with price nicely. We had our top here, okay? Once RSI broke back down into the purple, this began a large downtrend. So 
Is it perfect? No, but this is a really good indicator to use, again, for beginners, if you're just trying to find a, a baseline when it comes to trading. This is a really good way on an early time frame that you can profit from trades.